it's just crazy how it all started because actually like i didn't even have this table when i first started making content like actually i was rec well i started recording videos off a phone a cheaper phone than this cheap phone <laughs> So nowadays, I really don't pay too much mind to phones, although I'm going to get back into that. But my main thing is PCs. But not bad. I always tell people for a guy that on my main channel, which the link's under the description, and uh, at any point of this video, if you get any value or anything, or you like to see content like this again, uh, hit like, subscribe, share, comment, Whatever, let us know you in the building and we'll shout you out on our platforms and on our audio podcasting platforms on all major audio and streaming platforms. With that being said, you can check the links out that are going to be there uh, and I'll put the links to these monitors that are behind me and my streaming PC, which uh, you guys will be able to see it in a lot of my videos and the one before this. I'll probably post it now the pc if i have a pick but i'm using a green screen so i don't want to like you know what i mean but anyway we started with a phone and i started like telling my stories walking in the street i was podcasting already but when i went hard like every day i was walking around telling my story in the streets in the bronx brooklyn bugging out still going wild in the streets of new york and then i started taking it a little more serious and it went from recording outside to indoors to having no setup like an actual streaming and content creation setup to then uh from a phone to a laptop a hp laptop which i still have that's amazing the big ones but it's is is has like a amd uh radian graphics and all that so some of that content looks pretty decent for a laptop uh uh, for a webcam, I would use my phone at times, so I figured out how to plug it. Uh, I plugged in a, a mixer to that same laptop, and I used one of them folding flip tables that they use outside, like the guys that sell the Muslim or you and books and all that in Manhattan or anywhere the vendors. So, uh, yeah, and a boom arm by Newer, which we still use in a newer boom arm. Right here, just eighteen dollars now. And back then, it was like ten, eleven, even eight dollars. And I still have that same boom arm from like seven years years ago. Is is holding up a camera up there, a webcam. But anyway, <clears throat> I say all that to say when I got this monitor that's behind me, that's the AOC uh, G two series. It was priced at two hundred and sixty something dollars. Definitely two fifty. Uh, until today, when you find it as an IPS panel, a 24 inch, it's still about 200 and something dollars. If you could find the IPS in 24 inch, because 24 inch is like the go to monitor for most professional gamers, esports, you know how it goes, the peripheral, how you can see better with 24 inch and all that. But I wind up getting three of them. That's how awesome I thought they were, right? So here's the thing, if you never had a gaming monitor before, that's going to look amazing to you. You get it? But off the gate from straight out the box, I just started dealing with the settings in those monitors and I have them for over like two years already. Not all of them because I have about three or four of them. And uh, 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 I ordered uh, I, one of them is VA panel. And it's just as good as the IPS with half, way more than half of the cost. I happen to think that for me to look at it is more interesting to me, the game, because I can see what's going on. But I understand that for the viewer, they like it darker or whatever. I don't know. That's weird. But some people don't like a lot of contrast or whatever. So here's what I do that may work for you. Even my 32-inch other monitor that I just got, Kuri, 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 K-O-O-R-U-I, it's a curved monitor, and I'll put the link to that one in the description too. Uh, they are affiliate links at zero cost to you. So with that being said, uh, those are amazing monitors. I use that 
Corey the Curve for my sim racing because before that I was using one of these AOCs, but I like all three of them on my desk, not on my sim setup, right? So I had to remove the sim setup from near my desk because I will find myself addicted to sim racing and drifting and trying to learn it so much and you, those that know about it know how time consuming it could be and i wasn't making no regular content so i'm like i need to move this to the side so when i come in the morning and here i see this seat empty right so so this is how it actually looks like my desk what i'm looking at today those are all the same monitor and the one to my right is the VA panel and you could tell it's like brighter but that's because that same day that I took that photo my light is beaming over that other monitor so when I looked at it they all look the same because I fixed it in the settings but based on where I have the lights on my desk clamped on it gave like more light to the VA panel <laughs> don't matter what i did to it so it looks brighter because there's a light over it that's beaming but once you fix it in the settings they look amazing uh all of them and they kind of sort of get super close looking like the v like the ips panel ah but here's the thing right and let me fix this light real quick because i shut off the webcam so that's why i did that so here's the thing, right? When 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 I'm streaming on let's say I'm on the VA panel, right? And I'm gaming or whatever, boo, right? I'm capturing it on an Elgato HD sixty X plus but on a IPS panel. So I'm pretty sure that that's what helps so make the picture quality look probably a little more superb is because you're actually not seeing the stream off a VA panel. It's, I'm playing on a VA panel, but the stream is shooting out through an IPS panel. It's being captured from an IPS panel. I don't know if that messes up like the pixels or what have you, but lately I've been streaming in 1440p and it's been, and I put up the bit rate and it's kind of hard because no one sees your stream really that well because YouTube is not going to send it to really nobody because I'm streaming at 25,000 bit rate, right? Because if you stream at a lower bit rate, People will come in and be like, this looks horrible. My dude, the only reason you're able to see it is because I put the bit rate that low so I can reach you and you can get to know me. So there's a lot of awesome streamers and content creators out there that you would never get to know about them because they streaming at a super high bit rate because they worried more about their picture quality, right? And I became that person. So I'm a kind of sort of stop doing that for streams and just record my videos now these monitors are 1080p what i do is in nvidia control panel i uh overclock the monitor should i say to like for uh 2560 by 1440p and then it stretches the pop pop the preview window what have you now my other monitor that i just got for uh uh my birth uh, for christmas right which was a gift i was gonna get one and i said this numerous of times so that was amazing it was a gift by one of our viewers and one of our family members from my main channel on the lockout right but it was awesome and it's priced at 219 dollars because i was gonna buy the same one i was thinking about it and he just happened to order it and send it to me like yo pop uh was that for my birthday no it was a merry a christmas gift right and a birthday gift my my birthday's in the same month so anyway so that was cool now i get to buy the other two 
if I want to do the three for the sim racing, right? So it was awesome. Nobody gives me nothing for decades and <laughs> for Christmas, <laughs> right? So which is cool. And I, I, uh, again, once you fix these monitors in the settings is amazing, right? And I started fixing the monitors in the settings and I put them at srgb then it looks kind of good and you turn on the dcr dcr i heard that that's like it gives a better picture quality like when you're watching something but some people turn toggle it on and off if i turn it on i just leave it on for a while i think it's on right now as i'm recording this so maybe this is why this looks a little better than my normal uh uh with the way the webcam looks being captured but with that being said i said all that and i say all this to say that these monitors are awesome and you don't need to spend a million dollars on monitors you could buy a monitor for a thousand eight hundred dollars and i guarantee you that me and you will both record a video the same length the same a uh, resolution the same uh 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 uh, bit rate the same everything and compare the picture qualities and i bet you once i'm done with the settings and all that people are gonna be like that looks amazing and you spend thousands of dollars on your monitor it doesn't mean nothing the only one that really knows that it's you or unless when you talk about it so i got hip to that and tech for rec has always been a channel where we pride on giving the people and showing them a bang for your buck so you don't have to break the bank and be leaning sideways right so we also do buy some things that are major expensive but for the most part we like to compare i buy the expensive one and the least expensive one and show you like you don't need this one like i did with the elgato hd 60x and the 15 dollar capture card i was using the 12 and 15 dollar capture cards for over like two years a year and some change maybe more uh uh and then i got the elgato i could have got it a long time ago but there was other things in the setup that i wanted to get uh now we like thousands of dollars and it becomes an addiction at the same token is a good addiction right i'd rather be addicted to tech and sim racing and drifting than drugs right well at one point in my life i was and all that changed and these are uh, my habits now right so you got to change your habits your goals and your uh, uh things that you like in order to become a better individual but what goals do you have with tech or making content or sim racing or anything do you see where do you see yourself in five years from now in content creation do you ever plan on making content have you thought about it has the thought crossed your mind or are you already making content let us know and what would you like to know? Ask me. I know pretty much. I don't know everything, but I know pretty much. So again, the AOC monitors are amazing. There's times I see them on sale for 140, 119. Don't let people tell you any different. That you're gonna see one for 129. You're gonna buy the one that's 400, and you're gonna be mad <laughs> when you see the picture quality. I'm not saying that they all super duper suck. That cause more because i got monitors that cost 250 and then i got monitors that cost 100 and something right i got monitors that cost 400 i got monitors that cost 200 i'm just saying my go-to monitors that's in front of me are aocs and this one that i'm talking through right now is actually the va panel at 165 hertz and i'm gonna put that one first in the link and i'll put next to a va panel and it looks pretty good now mind you if you're gonna do pc stream it's being captured by a ips panel and the elgato hd 60x capture card these are 1080p monitors right and i'm recording in 1440p so anyway i just had to shut this off and run downstairs because my package came it's just two dove deodorants that i ordered which I plan on making. I told my people I should have made an unboxing about it. But uh, some people don't know what deodorants to buy. This is the truth. I swear to God. And 
one thing I learned from my brother, my blood brother that I don't talk to, if there's anything he ever taught me that Maury, is that you don't buy regular deodorants. You buy antiperspirants. Antiperspirant. That's for men. You get it? And it and it's what kills the germs and all that. Regular deodorant is just smell good. If it don't say antiperspirant, don't buy it. That's why you stink. Respectfully. And you could kill your monitors and mess up the pixel. It could be very pixelated if your underarm smell. In New York City, we take the train and people are like early in the morning and it's like, oh my God, he just burned my face. Like you smell it and you feel like I'm going to get sick. <laughs> like you feel like you're going to die. <laughs> I swear like that doesn't you got I got to go brush my teeth immediately. Like I taste it. Ooh <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how did we get there, Bobby? Who knows? But anyway, look. The bottom line is this, my dude. You can go out and you can spend eight, nine hundred dollars, even three or four, five, ten thousand dollars on a monitor. This is facts. What are you really doing? What are you really doing? Are you buying the monitor because you like it? Because for you, or you, or you flexy? You flexy with it? And I get it. We all want to do a little flex. Well, I flex with AOC and with. Kuroi, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, 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 uh what that monitor that's over there, and I'll show you that in a second, right here, right? Bop, that's the one I got right there for Christmas, the 32, uh, with 31.5 inch Kuroi monitor, and it's amazing, 100% sRGB, I ain't gonna lie, the sRGB, when you turn it on, it, it makes the monitor, like, less brighter, Right, but it's supposed to put it like in a form of this is how real true colors are supposed to look, right? I know what people say that's actually a, a 1920 by 1080 stretched out or whatever, it's not ultra wide or whatever. I know what you're gonna try to say. What people say, look, bro, when I press 1440p, it plays in 1440, it looks super amazing. Uh, 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 it goes down at YouTube as actual 1440p 2K. So I'm good with it. You get it? And my goal was to buy three of them for my sim racing rig. And I didn't want to break the bank and spend a million dollars. So my guy got me that one. Shout out to him. One of our supporters on our platforms. Major awesome people. Uh, and we accepted the donation. <laughs> But all my other stuff, I get on my own. Companies don't give me nothing. Uh, I do. I did a few ads for companies and years ago, but I had stopped doing them for a lot of years. We may start taking more sponsorships as time goes on, but for right now, I'm good with the fact that I could tell you the honest truth, and that's what separates us from everyone else. Even when they was giving me products i was saying the truth <laughs> maybe that's why some of them didn't hit me back <laughs> because if something is no good i'm gonna let you know it's no good i don't buy nothing or take nothing from a company that i'm not gonna use you get it so i really make content i really game in real life for hours uh, 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 so I could tell you if something works. But you know what does work? This right here. So that's me with the Logitech G920. I just modded it and added a quick release to it. It's amazing. I'm gonna hook it up tomorrow morning and stream some video plays with it and make some videos <laughs> with the video play. But anyway, the Fanatec DD wheelbase is amazing. And I have that connected to uh, GT Omega sim stand and that stand has no wobble i see some people buy these stands and they super wobbly you're buying a 60 80 dollar stand my guy with another 60 bucks you could get something solid like the next level or the gt omega apex that has room for improvement and upgrade in the future right so that's what I did. I bought the GT Omega Apex. It was listed about like 200 bucks or something like that. But it's on sale today. I have it for a few months already. It's on sale for about 
less than 150 bucks i'll place the link in the description but it's amazing and i'm using it with a pretty strong wheel with the fan attack uh i'm drifting i'm shifting gears uh i bought the shifter for the larger tech g920 i bought a few knobs for it so we're about to show you all that and make videos with that if you're into drifting content and sim racing and if not it's just cool content to take a look at while we're doing it and we're talking and kicking the willy bo 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 thank you for tuning in to tech for rec i just felt like coming out and talking to you guys but here's a pair of headphones that i when i first started recording this is what i used plugged to my phone pop and then i'm gonna show you what i use today so these are skull candy headphones right and they sell them in the stores where we live for like 12 bucks but i found them on amazon and i'm gonna place the link in the description and i have these in the stash put away for over two years facts because when i first started making videos if you go to the beginning of my channels in the beginning and that audio that sounds superb was this plug to my ear and the little headphone that it got talking to it but turned backwards like facing out that way at times like this so guys today you're tuned in to on the lockout blah 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 and it sounds sick now i'm not screaming into it i'm like hey guys today you're tuned in but like a little bit like a little space in between hey guys today you tuned in to on the lockout right <laughs> i sound like a good boy but I was really like, hey guys. Nah. So anyway, um, yeah, they sound amazing. So for 10 to 12 bucks, you have yourself listening and audio and plugged right into your phone. Pop. And you connect the, the application called Open Camera that accepts an external microphone. And you're good to go. Never use your regular webcam app. Use Open Camera. It's a free source. You get to add your own bit rate and all that if your internet service is good if you make content your internet service should be top of the line don't play with that because it has a lot to do with your picture quality i promise you pop so now another pair of headphones is these lavalier mic pop i found two of these for six dollars one time on amazon the price has went up the owner found out that people was buying them and actually selling them for 60 50 dollars for two so he boosted it up himself and changed the name but we found another company that has them for cheaper and they sound just as good. Pop. So I have these for months. I can't even say probably a year. I don't know. But these are my go-to. And I have a pair of lavalier headphones that actually cost 60 to 70 bucks. And I haven't seen them in a while. They're in the box somewhere over there. Because these, the wire is long. I don't got to be putting in a battery. And they sound decent. For the price point and they never broke nothing durable i dropped them like a million times so i'll place them in the link too there's a lot of things that i would like for you to get if you plan on making content because all these things are going to help you be a better content creator although they're not needed but it's going to make you feel kind of sort of like you're doing something important right because you are important but it's going to make you feel like you got your little equipment to make your content so there's no excuses although the only thing you need is right in the palm of your hand pop and it's a phone but you add one of them little microphones pop and you clip it here pop hey guys you lit the only thing is that one you got the headphones and that one you don't you get it but they both good any mini mini mo pop Anyway, let me know if you would like to see more content like this where I pop out and just talk and say what's up. <laughs> That's how I had it hooked up before the Logitech G920. I had it just like that, boy. And then I said, I got to get it out from there. So you see how the monitors look amazing? I did all that and I started telling jail stories. And everything that I have in my studio setup, this whole house, I bought with money I generated on the internet. Nothing is from street money, me going out to work for a boss in, a, in no other job. It's money I generated right here on the internet, I promise you. And being where I come from, that's a win-win situation where I built computers today. And I've made thousands of dollars during the course of the last two or three years beyond belief building computers. And I learned how to build computers right here on youtube i didn't know none of that i utilized my time on the platform wisely while others were worried talking about me 
I will come out. Ah, spit. Say whatever I had to say. Bop. <laughs> Back to work. I was working while you was jerking. Now you mad at me? <laughs> now you see why they be hating? That's why when you to another galaxy, it comes with hate. Respectfully. But although that other setup you just seen behind me looks kind of amazing because of the colors and all that. I also upgraded to the Fanatec CSL DD direct wheel drive and I paid five hundred and seven dollars after taxes, I think. Or, or, or without the clutch, it was five hundred. Then you gotta buy the clutch separate, the 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 stick shift, all that. So just the wheelbase was five hundred dollars is gone. Pop. So I got that. That's it right there. And it's connected to the sim stand. Right? And you see there that monitor is sticking out, the gray part. That's the the AOC monitors before I put this one. And I was using it with the shifter from Logitech before I got the Thrustmaster for $230. I bought the Logitech shifter that went with that wheelbase for 70 bucks. It's on sale for 50 bucks right now. And I bought a cable for 40 bucks that converts the Logitech shifter into usb so that you could use it with any wheelbase so it's possible a lot of people just don't know that and go out and spend more money but i still wanted the Thrustmaster shifter or the fanatic shifter or the moser so i went ahead and did that as time went on but at first i worked with what i had and that's what you got to learn how to do i know we all want the finer things and all that but it's gonna come no that's the elgato hd 60x plus see the box back there <laughs> so uh uh Boom, everything will come little by little. Believe that. So I'm about to show you that setup in my next video. And the Thrustmaster, and I also have the Mo the 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 Moza handbrake and the Amazon handbrake. Which there's a crazy story with the handbrakes on what happened to me after I, after the handbrake was about 90 bucks because it was a 64 bit. So I don't know. Let me know if you would like what you would like to know about, what you would like to see. We just freestyling right now to get back into the groove and the mood of the tech conversations because it's been quite a minute. I've been busy with the whole setup, getting things right, boom, boom, boom. But we back at it like crack addicts, tech for wreck. Let's work.